Well, is there really any particular reason? The tra traffic. Traffic, or, or traffic is designed that way, and Europe and stuff like that, you're on the right side. So when you think about things like that, it's no accident. Also, for example, if you look at this sheet right here, it says the Seabrook. Okay, let me go to the bottom part. I'm going to tell you something. The cerebrum is also called the forebrain, okay? What does a forebrain mean? It's where? Yeah. It's in the front. It's in the front. Now, if you feel the front of your head right here, right? What do you feel? Uh, your forehead. It's really hard, right? What is that thing that's really hard? Skull. Your skull. Your skull, right? Why would you need a skull? To protect your brain. So when we're going to do like this, it just like pushes the bed back. Yeah, let me ask you a question now. And your, bra your brain is inside your skull, right? Yeah. Is it attached to anything? No, there's water. There's water, there's liquid. Now, for example, when you get dizzy, yeah. like if you stand here like this, and you start spinning around, <laughs> like a hundred times, and then you stop, what happens? Well, your brain goes like Huh? Your brain goes like left and right. Left and right, what else happens? You um, your eyes work. Um, the, the world looks like it's really, really spinning, right? What happened? You get dizzy. You get real dizzy. Now, you why do you get die. why do you get dizzy? Liquid inside your ears and, and on your brain is spinning around. It's spinning around, causing you to feel what? Dizzy. And you could also get no. you get really, you get really sick. Okay. Now, what's the best way to stop that dizziness? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Relax. Now, the liquid in your brain is there for what? Why do you think it's there? Huh? The liquid? It's like, you know, like, it's like, for like car accidents, like, boom! It's like, it's like stops a force in the brain that just slowly pushes it. So you're saying that the water may act, or the liquid in there may act like as a cushion? Yeah. Right? Okay, has anybody ever really banged their head really, really hard? Yeah. Really? What happened to her? Um, she, she was going to the bathroom and she slipped on it, on the handle, she fell over here, and then she got stitches. Stitches. What happens to you when you hit your head really hard? What comes? Blood. Blood. Blood or a... Yellow blood. A white blood. No, but like if you hit your head, you have something on you, you feel it, it feels like a what? A bruise or a bump, right? Yeah. Now, if you get a bump on your head, is it, the, bump on head is it, bump is it the skull that's injured or is it the brain? Skull. 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 skull, right? The idea, the skull is there to protect you, right? Now, why does a human body have a skull? Uh, protection. But how does it, like, why do you develop a skull? Like, as you get, like, when babies are born, do they have a skull? No. Yes. No. Uh, sort of. Yes. Sort of, right? So what do they always tell you? You have to be very careful with their... Head. Their head, right? So a lot of times the baby, when they develop, when they come out, their skull isn't fully developed. So they're very, the top of the head is very sensitive. Like you can't go up to a baby and say, how are you doing? Okay, it's not a good idea, okay? But if you've got someone like you guys, if I tap you on the top of your head, is it okay? It's not so bad. Yeah. Now, let's look what it says. It says the zebra, also called the forebrain, controls thought and many kinds of learning. Okay, so right there, the forebrain controls many types of learning. All right, let's make a note of that, because that's important. All right, so let's write that word down. Okay, the sebum. All right. Okay, boom. And that might be on the test. Many types of learning. Now let me ask you a question. You guys are smart. Okay, you guys are not, you know, how come some people learn better than other people? It's harder, the other person is stupider. No, that's not a good answer. Come on, what do you got? They use more parts of their brain than others. They use more parts of their brain, but how come you could take the OSA test, right? Pass it, no problem, even with the pressure, and some people can't do it. So much pressure. Maybe it's too much pressure. Maybe there might be something wrong with their what? The sebum, right? Because if this controls all many learning, this types of learning styles, there might be something internally wrong, right? So in that sense, you guys are very privileged and very advanced because your sebum is obviously very well worked, right? Look what it says. It says, it is the largest and most complex part of the brain. So look, largest, okay, and most Okay, write that down. Now let me ask you a question. When they say complex, when they use the word complex, what are they trying to say? What? When they use when they say it's the largest and most complex part of the brain, 
What are they trying to say when they use the word complex? Uh, simplest? Not simplest. What's the opposite of that? Hardest. No, no not hardest. That's talking about feeling. Yeah. It's like the, mo like the most difficult. Advanced, sensitive, and sort of more developed. More developed, I like. Advanced, sensitive, I'm going to put it to the side. But more, it's complex. Does it mean that it's like uh, complicated. complicated or very sophisticated? The idea is it's complex because it has a lot of what? Annoying man. It's got, it's got a lot of what going on in there? Uh, a lot of activity in there. Yeah, so he just says the Sebum controls many types of learning. If there's many types, it's got to be a complex part because it controls what? It controls how you learn how to read how you process math, how you process science, and then it also helps you to make connections. It also helps you to remember what you learned. Okay? So look what it says. It says the zebra makes up about 85% of the human brain's total volume. 85%? Yeah. Now, if the zebra makes up 85%, what's the area on your head do you not want to injure? Uh, the main the head. Front? You don't want to fall on the front of your head. Okay? So, now, if it's 85% in the front, what's the back? 15. 15%, okay. So where are you more likely to suffer major brain damage, the front or the back? Right. The front, exactly. Now, isn't it ironic, though, that the front of your brain, this skeletal structure, is the hardest part of the whole brain? Also, blood pressure, is that a problem for you guys right now? No. 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 What about for your parents? Is yeah. that a problem? Yes, for your parents, yes, because you give them a lot of headaches. Heartbeat. <laughs> Okay? Now, if you got a, if you got an irregular heartbeat, is that a good thing or a bad thing? If your heartbeat is irregular. Bad, right? Because your heart is supposed to pump regularly, right? So if your sebum is injured, it can affect your heartbeat, which can cause you to what? Die. Cause you to die. Yeah. Okay, what about hunger? You get hungry? That's your front of your head telling you, I'm hungry. Okay? Maybe if you scratch the front of your head, the hunger will go away. <laughs> uh, thirst, when you get thirsty, okay? Thirsty, I'm thirsty, that's the front of your head. Maybe if you pour water here, it'll stop being thirsty. Okay? And finally, the next two are the ones that are going to make you laugh. Urination, when you have to go to the bathroom, it's because the front of your brain is telling you. And the last one we're not going to talk about because you don't have any sexual urges, you are too young to have any. Oh, God. Okay? Yes. So, when you get hungry, when you get thirsty, when you gotta go to the bathroom, okay, all that has to do with the front of your brain, the sebum. So on the test that they ask you, tell me three things that the sebum is responsible for, you would say what? Control many types of learning, largest and most complex part of your brain, 85%. No! Yeah. No, well, we, well, what is it responsible for, the sebum? Breathing. Breathing. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Hunger, thirst, bathroom, <laughs> and sexual Well, yes, you're going to say that one, yes. You're going to say it. You're going to be an old yes. Sexual urges, okay? Oh, and that's no. important. Yeah. All right, now, now, everybody's got these notes? Yeah. You sure? Do you have to come yeah. out and see? No. I'll give you 30 seconds. Make sure you got the notes. Everybody, you got the